from a movie scene to main a people in my dreams. The last time, if I recall, was a feeling of being alone. I don't know if where I'm going isn't far, but in case I go, no need to be stressed. Gotta take it. Hey guys, so I'm vlogging today as you can see. I was gonna do kind of like a whole day in my life, but I started filming way too late and so now it's like late afternoon. I'm gonna still film a video though, so I'm gonna put some makeup on really quickly. Stay tuned for a bit later because I have a little like beauty haul for you guys of some new things I picked up and I have some serious obsessions. So once I get done filming my other video, I will show you guys those new products in the vlog. And I don't know if this is gonna end up being a weekend vlog. I might film a little bit tomorrow, we'll just have to see. But anyways, I'm gonna do some stuff to this face. Sun, just wait, it won't be too long till we arrive the coming day. Please ignore my restless face, cause Hard to keep it all together ever since we left. I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said, In case I go, no need to be stressed. Gotta take it, focus there. I really miss the shade. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. My time got away from me and I didn't film the haul last night, so I'm gonna film it now. First of all though, I wanna show you guys this little light that I have here in case you film YouTube videos or you're a vlogger or something because this, let me turn it off so I don't blind you guys though. This is such a cool little light. I don't really have light on this side of the room because of like this chair and the light from the window there is coming in through this side. And this is the perfect little like stand light if you want to like easily move it around with you and you don't wanna 
like drag your ring light everywhere or maybe you just don't want to get a ring light the brand newer sent this to me they are on amazon and they have amazing lights this is not sponsored by them i just wanted to show you guys this in case you're like a vlogger or a youtuber because this is like my favorite new little discovery it's such a cool little like stand light for vlogging or whatever you want to use it for i'm not going to show you guys right now because i don't want to blind you but you can like dim it or brighten it or you can change like the tone of the light so anyways i just thought i would show that to you guys in case anyone is interested but yeah i love that you can find them on amazon let's turn this back on let's do our little haul now because i have some incredible products to show you guys that i just picked up that i have been wanting for a while that i'm really excited about and i think i found my new oh this hair is lovely i think i found my new like holy grail favorite foundation or like base product i'll show you guys that in a second but first thing i have to show you guys something that i have been wanting and didn't want to spend the money on and i finally splurged and this is a brush set uh things are probably falling around in there because they're not in there tightly because i've been using it let me see if i can show you guys though if i can hold it up without them all falling out these brushes are so beautiful. They're so aesthetic. They are dirty because I've been using them and that sponge is too. But I really, really like this sponge. This is like very soft. It gets really big when you wet it. And I've been hearing about this from different YouTubers, but mainly Katie Fawn is the one who influenced me to buy these. She influences me to buy everything, you guys. And she's become one of my like all-time favorite YouTubers. I love watching her channel. So Definitely check out Katie Fawn if you haven't. I think these are getting like little marks on them because I keep sticking them back in the packaging. I'm gonna take them out now and put them in my brush holder, but yeah, these are literally the softest brushes I've ever used. This like domed, kind of like typical foundation looking brush, the A24 is so beautiful with foundation, yes, but also with blush. It's so soft. They're all soft, but this is these are like the best brushes I've ever used and I've never like invested a ton of money into like a whole brush set. I kind of have always just brought my brushes individually and randomly and these are like the best quality more affordable brushes I've tried. Yes, the kit is kind of expensive if you look at it as a whole, but you get like 12 pieces I think and when you divide that up, it's actually pretty affordable and they are like I said so incredible so excited about that so let me show you guys now my new favorite foundation I also think I found my new favorite cream blush I posted about it on Instagram if any of you guys watch Jessica Braun I am sure that you have heard her rave about this Misha BB cream forever and I always wanted to try it but it wasn't easy to find at the drugstore you have to buy it online and I just never ended up picking it up and i honestly didn't really hear many other people talk about it but you guys i found this at tj maxx the other week and holy cow this is such a beautiful bb cream i don't know if you can like see my skin really well right now on camera but i have it on my skin but in person my skin every single time that i wear this it looks so natural and like has the prettiest dew but it's not too dewy and it doesn't like break up on your skin like some dewy uh base products do it looks so beautiful and i'm truly like becoming obsessed with this this might be like my new holy grail like base product which is so so exciting like it just looks so perfect on the skin every single time and lasts like really really beautifully i also picked up two other like base products they're both like more light coverage i have the fenty beauty ease drops and the wet and wild tinted hydrator both of these are nice both of them are good but i cannot believe that i might love the misha one a little bit more than the fenty one like this one is really really pretty too if you want like that soft matte kind of effect and i'd say they have pretty similar coverage but for some reason this one just looks so beautiful and skin like on my skin and this one looks nice too i do really like it i just i honestly every time i look at my skin with the misha one i'm always just like wow my skin looks so good i don't know it's crazy because everyone raves about this and it's like their favorite foundation i have to try it more though i've only worn this a couple of times because i've just been loving the misha one so maybe i need to give it more of a fair shot but right now i'm liking the misha one more and then the wet and wild one this one is also really good. I've only worn it a couple of times, but it doesn't tend to look 
quite as like natural on the skin as those do. I'd say the coverage is pretty similar, but it looks slightly more, not makeup-y, I don't wanna say that, but it just doesn't sit on my skin as smoothly if it compared to these. It isn't like my favorite that I've ever tried. I actually think I might like the L'Oreal one a little bit more even than this one. Although this one is like the most affordable one out of all of these. So if you want something really affordable, this is still good. But the L'Oreal water infused one that I've talked about for a long time on my channel, that one has a little bit more of almost like a thin watery texture. So it looks so natural on the skin and it also kind of blurs my skin a little bit, I find. None of them are bad though. I just think honestly that the Misha is my favorite. Okay, the blush that I raved about on my Instagram. I've been wearing this pretty much every single time I've done my makeup since I got it. Yesterday, when I showed you guys my makeup on camera, I used my ColourPop one, the blush sticks in Aloha that I have loved for so long because I hadn't used that one in a while and I do really love that peachy shade. This one is a little bit like more of a dusty pink. What are these called? The Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I'll have it linked down below. And this is in the shade Hope. I'm wearing it today. I have a lovely pimple right there though. Um, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but in person it looks beautiful it applies so beautifully it has a perfect natural satin look with a little bit of a dupe but not too much it lasts really well and it is so so pigmented you need the tiniest little bit of this but i kind of love that because i like to wear a lot of blush and i can build it up really quickly so i'm obsessed with this i use it mainly with some of the ariel brushes today i used it with my royal and lang nickel stipple brush that i usually use it was okay, but I did kind of feel like I could get a better, more targeted application with these Morphe brushes that I've been using, so I can't stop wearing it. I want to get more shades so bad. I also got uh, another blush from Essence. This is like $3.99. It's called The Blush, and this is in the shade Befitting. I think they only have a couple of shades of this, but they're really pretty universal kind of shades. And this one is also kind of similar to the Rare Beauty blush, to be honest, like a dusty mid-tone kind of pink and it's so so pretty like this has a beautiful almost like not glow to it but it's not like completely flat matte on the skin if that makes sense and it's very pigmented it is a little bit of a dusty kind of formula so definitely tap the brush off but once you get past that it's it applies really beautifully and if you know like the right brush to use and all that it's definitely worth it because it's literally like $3. Also picked up the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer finally. I really really like this. This is in the shade Tan Lines. It's like the lighter shade um, that has like a really pretty neutral undertone. It kind of looks really cool toned on camera, but it's not too cool toned at all. It's a nice perfect neutral bronzer shade. And I know I said in my last like get ready with me vlog that this might replace my milk cream bronzer, but honestly you guys it hasn't because it's a different product. Since using it I've realized this is thinner and a little bit less pigmented than that one, but it does blend really easily. A little bit easier than the Milk one. So it just depends what I'm going for that day because the Milk one is more pigmented. And if I wanna look really bronzy that day, which is honestly most days, I will usually go for the Milk one. But when I want something that's just gonna give me a little bit of color and it's gonna blend really easily and still look very beautiful and seamless on the skin. I love this one as well. It's just not quite as pigmented as the Milk one, so you have to build it up a little bit more, but it still looks so, so beautiful on the skin and it like blends out like a dream. So I definitely think this one is worth it because it's also very affordable and you can't go wrong with that. So uh, two more products. I picked up this uh, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream from TJ Maxx because I love this cream. I think this is for face and body, but I've used it on my face when I have like a breakout or I want my skin to like calm down overnight. I'll put it on my skin at night and it's literally so soothing for my skin. I went through a whole tube of that. Then I saw this at TJ Maxx for $7.99, decided to pick it up, still have not like taken off the thing because I'm trying to go through some other moisturizers right now. This one is the Cranberry Pomegranate Scent and I can kind of smell that but not really i have to open it and what i'm worried about is that the scent in this is going to irritate my skin i don't know if it will i don't know if it's going to be a strong scent if it's really light it might be fine but i don't know if these scented ones that they have are meant for your face 
I kind of wonder if these are just meant for body. So I'm not sure. I'm just gonna have to see and test this and play with it a little bit. But let me know in the comments if these are meant to be used on your face or if you're just supposed to use like the original one. I feel like I'm ranting forever and this is gonna be a super long vlog. The last thing I have here is this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip set and refresh spray so this was sent to me and it's just like a little mini travel size i really love this little bottle and the packaging and everything i have to say this is okay but it, i don't think it's worth the money to be honest it's not anything that blows me out of the water the mist is a little bit harsh and it does make my skin look nice when i apply it but i don't feel like it gives me any extra glow or anything it doesn't like make my makeup last super long so I don't know, I still feel like the ColourPop one and the Morphe one, and also Milani has one, e.l.f. has one. There's so many better setting sprays out there that are much more affordable than this. So I don't know, I feel like this one is okay, but it wasn't anything super great to me. But I think that's gonna be it for this little haul. I think I'm actually gonna go bake some cookies because I'm going to my friend Marlene's tonight, see her little baby and hang out with them because it's been a minute since we've been over there. So I'm gonna bake some cookies to take along. Anyways. Here they are, all ready to be taken and eaten. <laughs> 